recent video of a 100-person choir performing at a church without masks is being met with sharp criticism today. Vice President Mike Pence attended the Dallas Megachurch Sunday. Look at row after row, not a single mask is worn. Now, members of another choir in Washington State that was devastated by COVID-19 almost four months ago are speaking out to Inside Edition. How many of you were surprised when you saw the account of a choir singing in a closed room, close together with no masks? Oh, I was surprised, surprised yes. I was definitely surprised. Mark and Ruth Backland and Cynthia Richardson were among the 53 members of the Skagit Valley Chorale who fell ill with COVID-19 back in March. Two choir singers lost their lives. Jim Owen and Carolyn Comstock are still experiencing symptoms from COVID-19. I couldn't taste or smell anything. And Jim and I both have that same symptom and it's still not back all the way. The 61 member choir practice became known as the nation's first super spreader event. It was held March 10th before the CDC recommended that churches suspend choirs. Cynthia says video of the Dallas choir was upsetting to watch. It seemed like they were sort of in our face, like we can do what we want to and to heck with the regulations. Today, and they say what happened to them should be a lesson to choirs around the country. You can't do this safely now. Sorry. It was surprising to me to see a choir singing because in our experience, we've learned that that's kind of a risky thing. For now, these COVID-19 survivors are keeping their practices limited to just a few members, and they hope this Dallas choir doesn't have to go through the heartache they experienced.